So in today's video, let's talk about five things you're not going to see in Halloween Kills. everybody has a go on welcome to another pre-produced fandom empire video i am your host sean thanks for taking just a couple of minutes out of your day to sit down and talk halloween with us i figured uh you know i was in the the mood to put out a pre pre-produced video we haven't done enough of them lately uh the live streams are fun we're gonna keep those up but uh things have been sort of crazy around here with the schedule and uh some family issues and that's what happens but here we are with another pre-produced video for all you. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how there are five things you're not going to see in Halloween Kills. Uh, the last thing I'm gonna mention could be considered borderline spoiler. Now, personally, I think if you're not going to see something in a movie, I don't think that's a spoiler, but I'll issue a spoiler warning when it comes time anyway. Uh, but before we do, if you're new to the channel, take a second. Somewhere down here is a subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Keep up to date on all of our future content. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff uh, heavy into Halloween, Star Wars, Supernatural, and more right now. Uh, and don't forget, uh, share the channel along with others if you think they might be interested. Uh, without further ado, though, let's get into our multiple choice question in this video. And it is, which Halloween mask do you like better? Is it Rob Zombie's Halloween 1 mask? Or is it the Halloween 6 mask? Um, th the thing I love about the H6 mask is... If you buy the somewhere hidden behind me, not the one, not that guy there, but uh, one out of frame is I have the Trick or Treat Studio H6 mask, and it doesn't really look like that mask that we see there. This mask, um, specifically right in this moment, looks um, almost like it's melting off and the eyes aren't lined up right, and I've always found the H6 mask... Uh, to have a different shape at times during the movie. I don't know if they use multiple masks or not, um, but I like it. I think it's creepy, but we want to know what you think. This is your turn to have your say. Comment down in the comment section below. Which mask do you like better? Is it Rob Zombie's H1 mask or is it the Halloween 6 mask? Comment down below. Let's see what the fans have to say. Personally, guys, I'm going with the H6 mask. All right, without further ado here, let's get right to it. Five things that you're not going to see in Halloween Kills. Uh, let's start with number five. There's not going to be a time jump forward. That's right. This movie, other than part of it taking place in 1978, um, a, a big chunk of it, in fact, uh, you're not going forward. It's not going to be 2019. It's not going to be 2020. It's the same night. Uh, you know, depending if the clock strikes midnight or not, uh, that, that remains to be seen. Uh, but it's the same night that Halloween 18 took place. Exact same night, no time jump forward. I know a couple of people speculated that. It's not happening. Uh, number four, there is no Danielle Harris in this movie. Uh, I know people clamored for it. Some people are against it. Some people are for it. Some people wanted a cameo. Some people wanted her to, you know, have play Lori's long-lost daughter. Um, no, Daniel Harris does not appear in Halloween Kills. I know that might upset some people, but the truth hurts. Uh, number three is a new mask. There's lots of rumors. Uh, th this one came out from the sizzle reel uh, that debuted last Halloween. People assume that Michael gets a new mask during um, Halloween Kills. And if you're like, if you take away the flashback, which of course he has the original 1978 mask, uh, there is no new mask. You know, Michael's not going to the store and picking up a new, a new mask. You know, and he's certainly not standing uh, in line at Walmart and uh, you know going through the checkout with a new mask. Uh, none of that stuff's happening. There's no new mask. It's the same mask that you see in Halloween 18, uh, but obviously with some effects from. Uh, the burning that's that's happened, as you see here. Um, but yeah, no new mask. Uh, number two, 
Dr. Wynn is not in this movie. I know we've uh, talked about mystery characters a little bit here. Dr. Wynn has gotten a bunch of guesses by people. There is no Wynn in this movie, guys. Dr. Wynn does not appear in this movie. Um, sorry, you know, his time's sort of come and gone. And number one, this is gonna where I'm going to issue a little bit of a spoiler alert here. If you don't want to, uh, you know, be spoiled in the least, although I personally don't consider this a spoiler, then... Uh, you know, maybe tune out now and we'll catch you in the next video. Uh, but number one is once Lori arrives at the hospital, you will not see her leave the hospital. She's not getting up and, you know, pulling a Sarah Connor Terminator act and grabbing the shotgun and going out and hunting Michael. No, Lori's time in this movie uh, is in the hospital. Uh, that might piss some people off, but that's just a fact. And while obviously a Halloween movie that features Jamie Lee Curtis means the story definitely revolves around um, Jamie Lee Curtis, she's not the centerpiece of this story. The centerpiece of this story, and I've been saying it for a while, are guys like Tommy and Lindsay and Lonnie and Cameron and Allison and Karen. For me, uh, those six, and uh, obviously Hawkins, uh, I would argue those seven are your main seven for the uh, the ensemble. Obviously, you got to throw Michael in there too, but uh, Michael is Michael. He's not exactly going out to dinner with any of them. Uh, but there you have it. You will not see Lori leave the hospital. Uh, maybe some people consider that a spoiler. That's why we gave a spoiler warning. I don't think it is because lots of things can unfold there. But if you're expecting Lori to get out there on the street and be in the action, that is not what this movie is about. This movie is about Haddonfield. Uh, coming together to uh, go up against the boogeyman himself. Uh, anyways, guys, let us know what you think. Comment down in the comment section below. We want to hear what you have to say. Uh, your thoughts matter to us. We think that the fans should have a say. It's the way we operate our channel. It's the way we operate our brand. It's going to be the way we continue to do those things, whether it's a live stream or a pre-recorded video. So comment down. What mask did you think is better, Rob Zombie's H1 or the H6? And let us know what you think about the five things you won't see in Halloween Kills. Maybe you're thrilled by it. Maybe you're disappointed by it. But there you have it. Uh, without further ado, don't forget, we have an Indiegogo campaign launching very soon. We're shooting the uh, Indiegogo teaser this weekend. Then we're going to spend some time editing. And hopefully within the next couple of weeks or so, uh, Haddonfield The Vanished, our sequel to Halloween 4, uh, will be up on Indiegogo. And you'll be able to check out all the perks we have there. And uh, we're starting with a 31-day uh, run on Indiegogo, and if we need to add more time to it, we will. Our goal here for this fan film is to raise $9,000 Canadian. Uh, if we get somewhere remotely close to that, we're still going to go forward with the full feature length. But if we fall considerably short, we're going to have to uh, obviously make a much shorter, uh, less demanding movie. So there you have it. Haddonfield The Vanished, coming soon. Check us out on Instagram, Phantom Empire Now, Camp Haddonfield Up Podcast. And on Twitter, it's at Phantom Empire Now. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to comment down below. Let us know what you thought. Drop a like. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. The Boogeyman 2. That's right. Coming. Ciao.